Oh, hi, I'm here. <laughs> oh, oops, yeah, yeah, hello. <laughs> I am Moon Kitty, and this is my friend Sunnyfall. I'm Sunnyfall, that's my friend Moon Kitty. Yes, and we are going to be cl playing Clan Generator today. I can definitely put these in the in the opposite order, and it will make a lot more sense afterwards. Okay, so this is Clan Generator. It was made by, initially, um, just some cat on Tumblr, but since then, uh, Sable Steel and lots and lots and lots of contributors have uh, taken it and made it into a much bigger and more robust game than it was before through modding, I think with the original creator's blessing. It is a game where you essentially have a set of, I don't know, seven to ten cats who start a clan, and then you, you kind of watch them grow, and you can nudge them in certain directions by putting them on patrols together, or having them do different kinds of patrols, and, and it's, it's essentially just kind of like watching the life of your clan go by. But there's a lot of uh, really fun things that I think we'll find out really fast if we just get into it. That should be good! So, Sunny, what would you like to name your clan? Oh boy. Uh, this is something that I should have thought of ahead of time. Cherry Clan. That's cute. Let's go with it. Yeah. Okay, so now it gives us this set of cats. Um, oh, pick a leader. Okay, so we've got some cats here on the side, and uh, it's going to have us pick the leader, so let's go through and look at them. This is Ebony Paw. He's too little to be Ebony Star, and he is strange. Oh, oh sweetie. <laughs> Lark Spot is a young adult who's also strange. <laughs> Uh, I don't like strange males being my leader. <laughs> uh, oh, vengeful strong. female leaders! Absolutely. Mm. Okay, sorry, sorry. So there's there's an extra reason why I don't want to go on, and it absolutely must be Tree Star, who is the vengeful female uh, leader of Cherry Clan. Uh, the reason I had chosen Cherry Clan is because I walked by a cherry blossom tree today oh. that is uh, beginning to bud, and uh, there. One of my favorite types of trees. It's why I love the springtime so much when the f trees all bud and burst. Um, and the, it, a cherry clan is led by a tree would be perfect. It would be. Wolf Kit, she's quiet and much too young to be Wolf Star. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make this young kitten our leader. Spruce Stripe is also a tree. He's a male adult This is adventurous. true. I, I'm glad they're giving us more tree names. Well, we might have a leader and a deputy already, then. It's entirely possible. Sleet Claw, he's a male adult and faithful. Pebble Stripe is a shameless senior. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always what you want in your seniors. Frond Pickle is a righteous adult. Yes. I see we have a kitten. Rattle Kid is nervous. Oh, <laughs> little baby. Ah, the one responsible person in the clan. <laughs> no, sorry, you can't be leader. <laughs> a sensible person would make you leader, but no, 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 no. Myrtle Dash is thoughtful. And finally, an elder named Spot Growl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Tree Star it is. Tree Star it is. All right, now we are going Cut. to pick the deputy. Spruce. <laughs> Spruce Stripe, the deputy. Spruce Stripe will be the deputy, yes. All right, now we need to pick the medicine cat. Medicine cat. I, I'm feeling like um, Lichen, I think was her name, the responsible one. Yeah, like, like in Talon. Talon. She is responsible. It, it <laughs> feels like with the leadership we currently have, the vengeful one and the adventurous one, we might need like the one reasonable cat in the leadership room. She needs to like balance them out. Yeah, yeah. Can we get um, Nervous Kitten and Unabashed Senior? Hell yeah. <laughs> Rattle Kit. <laughs> I'm too taken with them. Um, and Pebble Stripe, Shameless Senior, yes. 
I like right. um I like the look of Wolf Kit and Sleek Sleek Paw. So absolutely, go ahead. Sleet Claw, not Sleek Paw. Sleet Claw. Yeah. Okay, and then two um, more. and I'm thinking that means not our other strange male because I don't want to get too. You don't you don't want too many no. strange people in the clan. Too, too many strange people and you just have a strange clan. I mean, come on. I kind of want uh the righteous. Uh, that and I like, like her idea. little her little white neck stripe here. I think it's cute. Oh, that's true. It's beautiful. All right, and one more. Um, Myrtle Dash. Okay. Yeah. All right, and now we're set. We. If they're named Cherry and led by Tree Star and Spruce Star, I think they have to live in a forest. Okay. Your clan has been created and saved. Saved from what? Who knows? Has anything attacked it recently? Not sure. All right, I have changed a few things. Now you're not seeing the exact entire screen anymore, but you are seeing everything that matters. Uh, there, there isn't any cats that are outside of your view, I don't think. And there also isn't any, um, okay, no, there is. There is an elder hiding all the way down at the bottom that nobody can see, but uh, don't worry. As, as the people playing the game, they will get clicked on. <laughs> <laughs> but what we can do is we can click on any of these cats. Like uh, in the nursery right now, we've got Wolf Kit. And it will tell us, Wolf Kit is too good at playing hide and seek. So there, sh she's lost, is what you're saying. <laughs> Maybe. She, she's very, she's a poor, helpless baby in the wild. She's still in the camp, it's okay. <laughs> uh, if we click on her relations and say, see family... She doesn't have any. She's just Wolf Kit, and she's in the nursery. <laughs> I think we just picked up a child off the street. Rattle Kit tries to sneak out of camp, clearly failing. Oh my goodness. I like how she's Are there any there. nursery queens in this world? Does anyone take care of them? Um, queens and kits. Nope, it's just Rattle Kit. And wolf kit alone, and and look how they they give us these descriptions: an unusually dappled ginger and white she cat. That's cute. oh, this is fantastic. And it, it looks a lot like the, the the ones in the books too. The way that they describe them, the level of detail they're giving, it's really good. And also, just like the ones in the book, they don't give us eye color. In general. <laughs> no, but if you go to the if you go to the cat, um, the the actual cats have eyes, which can show you their color. Hmm, well, while there isn't any nursery queens, it looks like Pebble Stripe, uh, the, the elder, might be, uh, looking after them. Non-binary! Non-binary! I didn't even notice before! I didn't either. <laughs> I just liked Shameless Elder. Th thank you, Shameless Non-Binary Elder, my goodness! <laughs> shameless... Non-binary elder. I love Pebble Stripe. I love Pebble Stripe so much. I've known you for two minutes. <laughs> you cannot stop them. <laughs> Sleek Claw tries to set a good example for younger cats. Oh, this is cute. On top of being faithful, he's a fantastic, <gasps> fantastic teacher. Fantastic teacher! Yeah! I'm glad you're there. Oh, hey, hey, Sleek Con, um, wait, does Ebony, does Ebony Paw have a, does Ebony Paw have a mentor? Uh, probably. Let's, let's find him. Uh, yeah, it's Frond Fickle, though. Dang it. No thoughts. Frond Fickle's <laughs> fine. <laughs> you sweetie. Well, I mean, they, they don't need the strange apprentice anyway. We're just we're we're already just bullying the cats that have been described as strange. We're okay, absolutely but terrible. Role absolutely models. perfectly fine. <laughs> but yeah, Pebble Stripe doesn't like how times have changed since they were young. <laughs> Pebble Stripe, I do hate to tell you this, but uh, you were born today. <laughs> well, you, maybe you came out of the womb as an elder. <laughs> Ch Cherry Clan was just formed, you see. Oh, okay, so we, the, these cats are not new, but it's new to have them in a clan. Yeah, I'm guessing- This is modern Sky Clan we're watching. 
yeah, either either they came from nowhere or they or they're like like an offshoot of another clan. Gotcha. Okay. Ensures that all the duties are taken care of. Well, yeah, they're responsible and apparently smart well, as well. That's their secondary that all trait. Their duties are carried by taken care of. Yes. She's smart. Yeah. She's prepared. Good. I'm glad she's prepared. Backstory clan founder. Oh, are are there going to be other backstories later on? Yeah. Um. The the ones that that start the clan, they all say they're one of the founding members of the clan. Gotcha. But um, as you as more people join the clan from other places, they'll have they'll have backstories as to where they came from. Extremely smart. She is trying to set a good example for the younger cats. Yeah. Good for you. Let's see who haven't we clicked on. Myrtle Dash. Myrtle Dash, yes. It's a strong connection to Star Clan. Well, too late now. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You can you can be a fireheart. Spruce Stripe is a good speaker on top of being adventurous, so... A good orator? Yeah. Well, he'll be a lovely leader one day. I mean, maybe. If, if he unless, doesn't die. Unless he dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's assigning cats to a border patrol. Come on, Spruce Stripe. Let me click on the leader. Oh, come yeah. on, Ebony. Uh, Paw, let me click on the leader. leader. <laughs> All right, there we go. Tree Star. Oh, Tree Star. Worried about, um, worried about clan relations. What other clans are there? It looks like Tree Star transed his gender. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we can actually look at his leader in ceremony. Oh my gosh. Tree Kestra leaves to speak with Star Clan. They close their eyes and are immediately surrounded by their loved ones, friends, and clanmates who have passed on. Stars shine throughout their pelts. Pelts? They have multiple pelts? And their eyes are warm as they greet- Oh, 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 oh! There are uh, multiple among clan mates. Yep, yep, yep. And their eyes are warm as they greet the, new, greet the new leader. A queen introduces herself as Wisteria Bubble. That is a fantastic name. They softly touch their nose to Tree Kestrel's head, giving them a life for duty. Malaror walks up to Tree Speckles next, offering a life for bravery. They smile and say that the clan will do well under Tree Kestrel's leadership. Little Kit introduces themselves and bounds up to the new leader, reaching up on their hind legs to give them a li new life for adventure. Ganderburn states their name and steps forward to give Tree, bleh, tree Kestrel a life for endurance. Songpaw, an unfamiliar apprentice, stretches up to give a life for honesty. Their eyes glimmer as they wish Tree Kestrel well and step back for the next cat. Bittern... Bittern... Pelt, an Thank elder you, introduces them. Yeah. Introduces themselves and strides forward to give a new life for pers a persistence. Blizzard fur, an unknown warrior, give a gives a life for mercy. The cat turns around to take their place back in Star Clan, leaving room for the next cat to give a life. The next cat is not familiar. They smell of cat mint and other herbs, and have a noble look to them. The cat tells Tree Kestrel that their name is Lily Nut. They offer a life for patience. Springstar, one of Star Clan's oldest leaders, looks at the new leader with pride. They give a last life, the gift of leadership through the darkest times. Star Clan hails Tree Kestrel by their new name, Tree Star, telling them that their old life is no more. They are granted the guardianship of Cherry Clan and are told to use their new power pro uh, wisely. The group of starry cats yowl Tree Star's name in support. Tree Star wakes up feeling a new strength within their body. I know that they are now ready to lead the clan. So cute. Well, that was beautiful. I, I really appreciate them adding all of this. I'm detail. so happy for you, Tree Star. I believe it's Transvisibility Day when we're recording this, but. It is, so. Yeah. <laughs> it won't be by the time this is out. Uh, never mind. Tree Star but... is celebrating. Go to the cat. We can go to relations and see relationships, and we can see where they all uh, started. Uh, oh, I as, saw a longer bar. Tree Star respects Spruce Drake. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and for some reason, also Wolf Kit. <laughs> yeah. Wolf Kit is a very respectable kitten. They respect Wolf Kit more than they like Wolf what? Kit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but they platonic like Myrtle Dash and Sleep Claw, which is good. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he feels comfort in Fra Fraun Fickle, but 
no, no, not not as much. Not liking. a lot of trust or respect or liking. <laughs> and then he likes uh, Lich and Talon a bit. Yeah, Lichen. Lichen, Lichen, yes. Yeah. Oh my I gosh! Guess. Look, he just likes Sweet Claw. <laughs> oh no! Spruce Dry. <laughs> I hate what teachers. <laughs> what? Spruce Spruce Dry, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Slip Claw just keeps asking for an apprentice too much, and Spruce Stripe decided to uh, give the apprentice to uh, Fron Fickle just out of spite. Oh no! <laughs> got the cold shoulder again. Yeah. I've got another Listen. level of dislike on Spruce Stripe. <laughs> he does like Fron Fickle, so it makes sense. Also dislikes the shameless elder. Advise Tree Star to make sure Fron Fickle gets the apprentice instead of Sleek Claw. Also dislikes the shameless elder quite a bit more than, <laughs> no. than the Sleek Claw. What's wrong with your shameless elders? <laughs> oh, actually, could we them. just go through and see what people think of Tree Star? And oh, Spruce sure. Stripe, for that matter. Spruce Stripe seems to be kind of moderate. Warming up, I guess. Yeah. Perhaps things will blossom. Like in Talon has like much stronger opinions yeah, on Tree yeah. Star. Myrtle Dash really likes Tree Star. That's great. So does Sleep Claw. Indeed. Kind of a little trust bar going, actually. Yeah. Fron Fickle. Very high platonic light like for just yeah. starting out. That, that's impressive. But also got an apprentice right off the bat, so, you know. <coughs> I do completely trust Tree Star's decisions. And Spruce Stripe. Thank you for Ebony Star. <laughs> Thank you for Ebony Paw. Thank you for Ebony Paw. If I slip up and say Ebony Star, I'm sorry. It's it's mm -hmm. the it, it's the, who's that? There, I don't know. <laughs> there, there are things in my brain from that. <laughs> Oh, hopefully Ebony Paw doesn't become leader then. It's going to get real confusing. Well, to be fair, he's not an Indigo She Cat, so we'll be fine, probably. Ebony Paw likes Tree Star and Spruce Stripe fine. Lower, lower thoughts on lower uh, thoughts. Mm. our shameless Comfort, elders. but not a lot of like. Yeah. Okay. Rattle Kit. Like Spruce Stripe more than Tree Star. <laughs> uh, what does Wolf Kit think of, um, shoot, Lichen Talon, I think? A little bit of Platonic Like. Wow, that is so rude, Lichen Talon. Oh, Lichen Talon? <laughs> oh my goodness. This, this kitten wants nothing but to love you. <laughs> what do you have against I them? hate her. <laughs> Stop looking at me like with those big eyes. <laughs> her her personality is that she's quiet, and like and Talon hates her. I hate you. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think yeah. that's I think that's everybody. And um, so now what we can do is we can form patrols. So okay. if there are two cats you want to see interact, we can put them on the patrol together. Oh, definitely. Send uh, Ebony Paw out with his mentor. Just to check. All right, these guys are um, on training. Yeah. Frond Fickle suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Ebony Paw. Proceed. Unfortunately, no one steps up to teach. <laughs> Ebony Paw looks disappointed. What was Fron Fickle <laughs> expecting? For them to lead the training? Fron <laughs> What do you mean no one says You're the mentor! You have a job. You have one job. You have your job. Maybe this should have gone to the other cat. <laughs> okay, and should they go on a border, training, or hunting patrol? I think hunting, because they might kill each other if they're on a border patrol. As the patrol spreads out to hunt, Slip Claw admits that they had a vision from Star Clan last night. The patrol talks to them about whether it was a real vision as they hunt. 
As the Medicine Cat's patrol pads out to Cherry Clan territory, Tree Star tells Lake and Talon about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean for <laughs> Cherry Clan. Everyone's having visions. I guess we did just start up the clan, though. You're literally telling the Medicine Cat, Hi, I have more dreams than you. <laughs> They have an in-depth conversation about Tree Star's vision as they walk. By the time they head back to camp, they have a good idea of what they should do with the information. Poppy good and Juniper know. were gathered during this patrol. Good, I'm glad they did something. Wonderful. Unlike these other people. And we can actually go to the medicine cat den and we can see what we have, which is one Juniper and two Poppy. This is always here if the cat is healthy, but the this cat can work bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this cat can work. Very funny. Ebony Paw was trying to fluff up their nest when they discovered that they were the victim of a prank! Fox dung! Now there's a sharp thorn embedded in their paw! Rattle Paw remains calm as they touch noses with Spruce Stripe, but their twitching tail gives away how excited they truly are. So Rattle Paw's been made an apprentice. Yeah! And Spruce Stripe is the mentor. Myrtle Dash received a present, crow feathers, from Lycan Talon, and decided to keep it with them on their pelt. And it's on their tail. Oh, oh that's beautiful. And uh, we also get um, a big old relationship section where uh, we don't need to read all of this, but it shows us um, how people interacted. Like, Ebony Paw saw a tree star show off a skill they never knew they had, and it had a high positive effect. Which means what? if we go over to um, Ebony Paw now and uh, go to their relationships, they should have a higher relationship with tree star, or maybe yeah. the other way around, um, than they did before. Spruce Trap thinks Lycan Talon is the most beautiful cat in the clan. Oh. <clears throat> uh, um, Spruce Trap. How, how forbidden are medicine cat relationships? Uh, by by this by this uh, <laughs> by this application, I would imagine not at all. Because okay. Because the medicine okay. cats do not care in this game whatsoever. Sounds good. <laughs> so <laughs> that's um, about how it's treated in canon as well. So Spruce Stripe has a tiny, tiny crush on Lycan Talon all of a sudden. Interesting. It, you know, Spruce Stripe, it feels just a little bit like you might be trying to keep the power in a closed circle here. Wolf Kit wants Wolf to spend more time with Tree Star. Tree Star, that's adorable. <laughs> Sleep Claw thinks Rattle Paw isn't very considerate of other <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's a child. Sleep Claw desperately needs an apprentice. It looks like she's getting jealous. And Frond Fickle is developing a crush on Spruce Stripe. This is not gonna this go This is well. a love triangle waiting to we, happen. We've already got... We've already got a problem here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. Well, how no, does, no, 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 does no, no, Lycan no. Talon feel about this, anyway? Lycan Talon, do you have any romantic like? No. None. <laughs> She's um, responsible. <laughs> She's responsible! She knows her job! <laughs> She's gonna be like, okay, I know the two cats who have a crush on me, I'm never going on a- <laughs> never going on a <laughs> patrol with them again. Prawn Fickle is trying to set a good example for younger cats. Well, you were doing that yesterday. Oh! Wait a second, Tree Star's a young adult? Oh, yeah! Tree Star's only two years old. At uh, less than oh two gosh. years old. I guess- Firestar! Uh, I guess we just kind of shoved him into that one, didn't we? Whoopsie! Oh, Rattlepaw looks kind of cute now. Getting more... Oh, more spots. Oh, sweetie. But no thoughts, head empty. Oh, sneaky, though. That's gonna be Huh, nervous turned into sneaky. Gaining a little bit more confidence in all of the worst ways, are we, Rattlepaw? <laughs> Ebonypaw is still strange. As, uh, uh, yeah, as he should be. And injured because of the thorn. Sweetie. <laughs> Pebble Stripe is feeling chipper today. Good for you, Pebble Stripe. Shamelessly chipper. <laughs> As they should be. I'm glad that like and tell the horses has been here. The horses of Starkling. <laughs> I have to imagine that in the moon between these, she just went up to Starkling and was like, hey, why are you all giving all the dreams to every cat except me? <laughs> Excuse me, Starclan, can I have a word? You made me the medicine cat. This is a brand new clan. You specifically chose me. Why won't you send me a gosh darn dream? 
I'm gonna separate the love triangle cats. I'm gonna, um, Spruce Stripe and Rattlepaw can take Myrtle Dash on their training session, and maybe Myrtle Dash will take over if they need someone to teach them. <laughs> you know what? If you want to be really mean next time, you could send, um, uh, Fran Fickle and Ebony Paw out with, uh, shoot. I can't remember the name. Sleet Claw? Oh, Sleet Claw. Yeah, we could. Yeah. We could. <laughs> Spruce Stripe stutters. They don't think they're fit to lead the patrol. Spruce Stripe. Oh, no! You're Spruce the deputy. Stripe, you're the deputy. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. Okay. Fraud Frickle. I Fickle. can't. And also send Sleet Claw along. And hey. Sleet Claw. All right, you guys are you know, for training. training. Yeah, this will be fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, trailing behind the patrol, there's a mighty crash above Ebony Paw. They look around wildly, just as the world is blotted out by a tangle of heavy falling branches. Without letting themselves panic, Fron Fickle carefully ass assesses the branches trapping their clanmate, then throws their weight onto one. It acts as a lever, forcing the entire pile up and allowing Ebony Paw to scramble free, shaken but grateful. And that leads the, uh, the leader, leader and medicine, medicine cat. cat to go on a patrol. As Lag and Talon pads through Cherry Clan territory with their entourage of one cat, they feel a presence <laughs> join them. Um, Lag and Talon, I'm, I'm not your entourage, I'm, I'm the leader. No, entourage! <laughs> <laughs> the scent of a familiar pelt reaches Tree Star's nose. They know this cat. With a friendly purr, they turn and greet their friend from beyond the grave. The rest of the patrol gives them some space. Ebony Paw's small cut is no longer bothering them. But Ebony they know Paw has gotten her red nose! <laughs> Wolf Paw's reached the Six of Moons and has been made an apprentice. To who? To who? Let's see. Mentor? Tree Star! Really? The mentor and deputy now have an apprentice each. Poor. <laughs> Sleek Claw is just Sleek seething. Claw. <laughs> Sleek Claw is over here like. Excuse how, how me! Many, how, how many. People I'm destined to be a teacher here. And there's no children. I've Sleek trained Claw. all my life to find a child to train myself. And now there are no children left. Poor Sleek Claw. <laughs> Princess <laughs> Lynn, the next season will be a good one. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I'm so sorry. You're a fantastic teacher. You're faithful. You're competent. I'm sorry. He's he's a good guy. <laughs> he, he's such a good guy. He, he wishes he could teach your children. But no one wants him to. Fraud Fickle's doing the same thing that she's been doing for the last three moons. <laughs> 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 trying to be a good example to be fair uh this time that example did include uh taking a tree off of her trapped apprentice so yeah i think i think she's doing a good job Ebony pa. Ebony pa. no thoughts none none head empty. Rattle paw too My Rattle paw is adopted no thoughts head empty <laughs> You know, that that's that's some great oh my gosh, Wolfpaw is so cute. Wolfpaw Maybe Tree Star took them because they're uh fierce. <laughs> Gonna nurture their uh ruthless Maybe tendencies. To enact vengeance on my enemies one day, Wolfpaw. Was it was it like in Talon who hates Wolfpaw? Yes. Wolfpaw still loves her. Still dislikes Wolfpaw. <laughs> Myrtle Dash listens to Pebble Stripe talk about what life was like when they were young. Interesting. Yeah, probably effect. a high positive effect for Pebble Stripe, who's like. Wolfpaw really wants to spend more time with Lycan Talon. High positive effect. <laughs> <laughs> poor Lycan Talon. Or maybe this poor child, poor Wolfpaw. This child will not let me go. <laughs> Leave me alone, child. Like and Talon wishes they could get their pelt to shine like spruce stripes. Low negative effect. They're jealous? But Like and Paw did see Wolfpaw being a, a considerate, which was mm. a low positive effect. That, that's a start. Maybe a bit. Maybe a bit. 
I think Sleek Claw uh, should be given all three apprentices for a day um, so that the mentors can have a break and uh, they'll, they'll use this as an excuse of whether or not Sleek Claw can handle an apprentice. Okay, Sleek Claw, all the apprentices, training you think? Go ahead. You wanted to be an apprentice. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, you wanted to be a mentor. You wanted to be a mentor, Sleek Claw. Well, let's see. Why are we having this conversation with Ebony Pa? <laughs> I think they had a vision from Star Clan. <laughs> okay. The patrol talks to them about whether it was real vision real as they train. Train. So they do train. <laughs> I, I'm inclined to send Spruce Stripe, uh, Lycan Talon, and Frond. Uh, fickle on a patrol together because it it would be h hilarity as far as romance is concerned. Okay, we're gonna put the love triangle on a patrol. The love conga line. The love conga line goes on a patrol. <laughs> Lycan Talon notices the moss in the medicine den is getting old. They need to go gather some more. Lycan Talon leads the way to the best moss patch they know. With their entourage following close behind, the cats They're begin... only ever their entourage. <laughs> yeah, well, Lycan Talon considers anyone following them their entourage, I think. Exactly! <laughs> the cats begin cutting off bits of moss and making their respective piles. Once the piles turn into mouthfuls, they pick up the bundles of new bedding and start back towards the camp. The runny nose has finally stopped running, and Ebony Splash is a new warrior! Aww. Welcome, Ebony Splash. I I'm glad you weren't named Ebony Strike. Yep. Really? Over his prey. Catch your Spruce own Strike prey. Has, has, has a little bit of everything for Tree Star. I like you. I just like you. But I respect you. I'm comfortable around you. I am jealous of you. But I trust you. I really, really trust you. Myrtle Dash has a very good platonic relationship with the Shameless Elder. Uh... <laughs> I, I think everyone should have a good relationship with a shameless sh shameless elder, actually. Very good relationship with Lake and Helen, actually, Myrtle Dash. How does, how does well, Lake and Helen feel about Myrtle Dash? Barely anything. Okay. <laughs> I I think uh, Lake and Helen has a lot of admirers that she does not actually care about. <laughs> She's the medicine cat. and, and Everyone and else is her entourage. <laughs> you might be a good entourage, you might be a bad entourage, but everyone's an entourage. Spruce Tripe is hoping for a break. Lycan Talon was startled away from the wee hours by a vivid dream. I'm glad they're actually paying attention to her now. <laughs> really? All three of you? I- okay. I know this looks repetitive, but there's a reason mm -hmm. for this. At this point, they are all competing to be the next mentor, or prove that they are the best mentor. Mm. Myrtle Dash is getting in on this, you think? Why not? The patrol is checking along the border lines when they hear a startling sound. A hiss of pain? They quickly follow the sound to the source. It's a loner, and they appear to be injured. The loner hisses defiantly as the patrol comes closer. Spruce Stripe speaks soothingly to the loner, assuring them that they mean no harm and simply want to help. The loner seems distrustful, but allows Tree Star to help them back to camp. Chestnut has joined the clan. Your clan's reputation towards outsider has improved. Well, let's let's go look at Chestnut. Oh, you're beautiful, but I totally expected something brown. <laughs> he is strange. I'm sorry. The the the, the strange man. You the strange to bring home group is uh, growing. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent speaker, though. Actually, um, uh, Ebony Paw isn't strange anymore. I think I think he changed to nervous. Oh no! <laughs> so he has a bite wound and blood loss. He sucked Rattlepaw's nervousness out of him. Now Rattlepaw gets to be confident. Chestnut used to live in a barn, but mostly stayed away from two legs. They decided clan life might be an interesting change of pace. That is not true, you got bit by a snake. Well, I guess that's the reason they stayed, instead of immediately leaving once their bite had been treated. <laughs> uh, yes, let, let's put the mentor fighting trio <laughs> together. Alright, should they go hunting, border patrol, training? Uh, let's do border. Border patrol. On their way to mark the far corners of their forest territory, Myrtle Dash starts telling a story about of their ancestors to keep every cat entertained. 
As the patrol weaves through the trees and undergrowth, it becomes obvious that the bushes block the sound of their meows, and Myrtle Dash gives up on their story. Myrtle Dash being the old one of the group. So, my personal mm -hmm. headcanon for why this is happening. Um, Fromm Fickle is the actual one with an apprentice and wants to prove that she's good at it. Uh, mm -hmm. I've, I've already forgotten his name. Sleet. Sleet Claw. Sleet. Sleet Claw. Sleep Sleep Claw like obviously is a fantastic teacher and wants to be able to prove it, but no one will let him. And Myrtle Dash is just one of the oldest, oldest warriors in the clan, the non-seniors. So he just feels like, yeah, if I don't do it now, I won't ever. But he, he's the least invested in it, so he tries to keep them in good spirits. He, he's just participating for fun. For fun and also, you no, know, if I don't get an apprentice soon, I, I might become an elder before I get one. So might as well try. Is my hypothetical headcanon for these kitties. I mean, our headcanons are all there is, really. It's true. That That's all there is. That's the beauty of this. What does this mean? Spruce type believes they're... For what? What do you mean? Uh... Buddy, you're a mentor and a deputy. I guess what? I guess you could be meant for something greater. Um, you want to leave the clan? They can't believe they ever slept today. <laughs> but uh, the leader is uh, the leader is only two years old, so I don't know about that. Oh no! Spruce Stripe caught light can tell and complaining about them behind their back. Oh. But also, Spruce Stripe is admiring light can tell from afar. Uh, maybe that's why she was complaining. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on, okay. Like in Talon, the <laughs> medicine cat was complaining, complaining about the deputy about Spruce Stripe. Stripe, the deputy behind their back. <laughs> Spruce, Spruce Stripe, Stripe was admiring Like in Talon from afar. <laughs> I know he's watching me again. I know he's there. <laughs> She's talking about me. How dare she cats do that? <laughs> The romantic like has gone up, but we switched focus to like and talent. The, there's nothing there, and there's a bit of dislike now. Pebble Stripe seems to just get along with everybody. That's true. To be fair, who could possibly not get along with Shameless Elder? I wish I was a Shameless Elder. Oh yeah. I'll work on that. I'm already well, thirty. Yeah, you're halfway there. <laughs> uh, in this fandom, I'm already there. Oh, no. Oh, uh, Fron, Fron Fickle had a fight with Wolfpaw? <laughs> Why did you have a fight with Wolfpaw? Buddy! <laughs> don't, oh. don't start a fight with the apprentice! <laughs> At least it's not their apprentice. Yeah, that kind of makes it worse. Why are you starting random fights with other people's apprentices? Now that's the only person that, that Wolfpaw dislikes is Fron Fickle. <laughs> and Chestnut worries that Spruce Stripe isn't being honest with their relationship. I think Spruce Stripe <laughs> might not be being honest about a lot of relationships. <laughs> oh no. Goodness. <laughs> Spruce Stripe, this is a problem. <laughs> Spruce, Spruce Stripe, we, we need to have a conversation. Myrtle Dash is doing their best to get an apprentice. He's hoping that Starkland protects their loved one. Aww. He is faithful. Sli I, I think that's why Sleekclaw isn't jealous, because ultimately these are his clanmates who he has chosen to protect with his life, and he doesn't want anything bad to happen to them. Mm-hmm. Well, he, he he's wrestling with his own desire to achieve his own goals. And everything that happens he, is probably happening under Starkland's yeah. direction. Uh, exactly. Fron Fickle silently chases another warrior from afar. Uh, I, I'm willing to guess that it's Spruce, Spruce that they're judging. Spruce Stripe. Oh yeah. Yeah, Ebony Splash, who is nervous nowadays, is visibly mm -hmm. stressed about something. Oh, it's sad they went from strange to nervous. Maybe we shouldn't have bullied him. I'm so sorry, Ebony Splash. I really didn't mean to. All right, going to end this one here for now, but we'll be back with more of Cherry Clan in a couple weeks.
Thanks for coming. See you next time.